Last week, I said this. If something comes up when I'm, I go to my next distro and it's still happening, I will come back and definitely add a update in the comments. And something was definitely up and it wasn't Garuda's fault. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what was actually going on with my USB interface and try to explain why this is such a difficult issue to track down. So early this week, I found this on Twitter. I was sent this by somebody that was looking to give me a bit more information about it. And after looking through this, I think this is what's been going on. So this is a post from Pipewire from the 22nd of September, and it's talking about a, a bug that they're seeing. But the bug actually isn't in Pipewire. The bug is actually in the kernel. And this can be seen right here. Downgrading to kernel 5.19.8, restored functionality. They also tried downgrading Pipewire itself. Pipewire itself did not seem to be the issue. It was the kernel in particular. And if you go over to the kernel bug, you'll see that this issue was submitted on the 17th. And then after that, there were several patches to try to address this. And these are comments from that. So when I was recording the video last week, my Garuda install was on kernel 519.10. And so the issue started popping up in 519.9. So I couldn't really wait around because I didn't, I, at the time I didn't know this issue. I had already moved on. I had moved on to Nabara, but Nabara keeps a very up-to-date kernel and therefore I ran into the same issue there. I could not get my audio interface to work. They eventually updated to kernel 5.19.11, but even then, this issue still was not fixed. As we go down here, you'll notice toward the bottom, right here, 5.19.12. 5.19.12 appears to have fixed this. I had already moved on to another distro. That's gonna be the next video. This is a bonus video for this week because I wanted to try to show like how complicated some of these issues can be. I would have never suspected that the kernel was the culprit in this case. I would have thought Pipewire or something I had done. The kernel would be the furthest thing from my mind. But when things like this are so tightly integrated, it gets very difficult to do that. One thing I particularly like though, is that the Pipewire guys kept this problem open. They didn't just close this and say it was a kernel issue. They kept this open so they could monitor it. And that's what a good project should do. But notice it's affecting 5.19.9, 5.19.9zen, and 5.15.68, which I believe is the LTS kernel at this, at this point. So it got pushed back down into the LTS kernel, so that was causing other people to have some issues as well, even on the LTS. So all that to say, there are times where an issue is very deep in where the issue is actually happening. And this is one thing that I really wish I better understood so that when I had an issue like this, I was better able to send the information to who it needs to go to. And that gets into things like the journal and things like that that I'm just not as familiar with that I need to get more familiar with at some point. But all that to say, that particular issue was not Garuda's fault. Uh, that is something that you're going to run into when you're running a more bleeding edge distro like that or Nabara or something like that. I mean, it's, it's just going to happen. I have went a different direction, but I'm going to wait to get to more in that in the next video, which should be coming out later on this week or maybe early next week. Have you ever had one of these weird issues where it could be coming from many different things and it was kind of the last thing you expected it to be? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.